is so today and welcome back to another Minecraft playing tutorial. Today I'm going to teach you guys how to use essential signs. Now um, I did do essentials kits in the last tutorial and today I'm going to show you guys about the signs. Now some people get confused with these as um, you need permissions for them and stuff like that. So I'm going to teach you how to make every single sign um, apart from one which is quite confusing. I don't actually understand myself. Um, so that's the one I didn't set up uh, which I'll tell you later. But basically I'll teach you how to make everyone and how to give everyone permissions, how to fully configure them. And yeah, so um, it's really good. So uh, the first sign here is mail. Now the way to write it is literally just mail like that. So uh, it's basically a bracket, mail, bracket. It doesn't matter about capitals, it will set it itself and it should turn blue. So when you right click that, it will say if you've got any mail or not. Quite a cool sign. This is free. So all you need to do is type in square brackets free um, and then underneath it what you want to be free so steak so if you go into it you get free steak and as you see if I drag this into my inventory then go back in it'll regenerate itself which I really like about that it's really cool so this is a kit sign now I've only used um, a default kit uh, dwarf tools or D tools um, so basically what you can do is you can configure it to any kit and underneath it if you want you can put it in brackets um, which group you want, so if it's only VIP only you can put VIP in there and you can also give it a cost if you put that on the bottom line so yeah that's a really cool thing and then if you right click it um, I'll get tons of, I'll get basically the kit so that's really cool um, uh, this is the disposal sign so let's just get some out my inventory some rail if I want to get rid of something plonk it in there, look back in it's gone so this is a heel sign. So um, let's just one sec, let's set the time today. Oops, that's today. Sorry about that. If we're going to give a zero, and then um, right, so it's GM one. Just fly up a bit. It's GM zero. There we are. Uh, oh, I didn't take any fall damage. <laughs> so it's GM one. Sorry about this, guys. And then so it's so it's gold. Let's take that off. Uh, slash GM zero. See, took some damage. If I click the hill sign, I will get fully regenerated. Now, underneath that, if you want to give it a cost so people can buy it, all you need to do is put the cost. I've not put cost on any of these, um, but you can do that. It's really easy. You can do it on most of these. Um, so, yeah, basically, you can try it out and I put the cost underneath. And there is a cool website, which I will put in the description, that will show you every single one. Um, so, yeah, that's really cool. So, um, the next thing is this. So basically, it means you can set the time today. So yeah, it's only a simple thing. This might be cool for like donators or something, or maybe just to be more simple for you guys. So if I right click that, it'll set tonight. If I right click that, it'll set today. So it's literally just how it's shown. It's literally just that, really. And you can put a cost underneath it, as I've said, you know. So this is where you can change the weather. So you just lay it out exactly like that. Uh, you can put a cost. Um, and then you right click it, that'll make it a storm and then you right click that, that will, that's a warp sorry <laughs> you right click that, that'll make it to sun and there's only storm and sun on the signs um, I don't know if there is any more, uh, you can check that out if you want guys but I, um, I think there's only storm and sun so the next one is warps so um, I set a little test warp so basically all you put in the brackets is warp, test um, and then the price uh, you do need permission for this, um, as you do for all the others. This is a quite quite cool one actually. So you see, you can teleport to that. I I used to love that plugin. Um, anyway, so we're gonna go on to spawn mob. So this is where you can spawn a mob. So I'm just gonna get my diamond sword out ready um, to kill some mobs. Uh, oops. oops. Um, so yeah, uh, basically all you need to do is you need to right click it. You can um, add prices and permissions, as I've said, and then you just you know kill it. Oh, that guy's frozen me there. Uh, and someone just joined my server. GG. Oops. Um, anyway, guys. Uh, sorry, I'm getting really distracted. <laughs> um, the next one is this one. So, uh, this is really cool, actually. You can. It's an enchant sign. So, basically, you can put enchant, and you can either put any or a certain. Right, guys, I'm back. Sorry about that. I uh, just got text. Um, anyway, guys. So, uh, what you can do is you can. Uh, basically enchant something um, or you can enchant anything 
Um, so basically, is enchant any, and then salt touch five. So that's for any, or you can put enchant a certain item, or salt touch five, or whatever you want to put. So it's really cool. So let's just get a snowball. It's probably the worst that I could have get. Let's actually get some milk. So I'm just gonna chuck that one in there. Serious. And then you see I'll have a silk touch uh, five milk bucket, which is really cool. You know who doesn't learn? Love a salt touch five milk bucket. Yes, I definitely do. <laughs> anyway, uh, game mode one. This will basically just set your game mode to game mode one and game mode zero. I wouldn't recommend giving this to normal people, but it's like a creative server, if you know what I mean. <laughs> anyway, um, here is info. So if you have a website, you can put it in the config. I actually don't have one set up at the moment. I actually do have a website, which I probably will actually set up and configure to the side um, on my actual server. Um, so yeah, uh, what I'm going to do is, that's what I would do. So if you've got a website, you can put that, you can put YouTube or something, you can configure on the script. Oh, not in the description, quite the config, which I will show you guys how to do. But first, um, all it will do, it will come up with an error if you don't have one, which I don't. But all you need to do is info and the sign underneath it. So, um, this is repair. So, I really like this actually. So, um, let's just get a diamond sword real quick. Diamond sword. Yeah, so if I go into game mode 1, go 0, sorry, um, I can break this. See, it'll put some damage to it. Uh, you can put cost to this and also permissions. So if I go to repair hand, I can repair it. So that's really cool actually. It's a really good thing. You can maybe give it uh, donators or something. Um, so yeah, I really like that. Um, next thing is buy sign. Now this is a really useful thing. I use it on my server. A lot of servers use it. You can use it for faction, survival, absolutely anything it's so good i really love it and yeah uh, basically um it's so easy to set up so you need to give them permission in the config and basically what you can do is you can click buy and you can have one or six or however many you want dirt um so you can buy one dirt for two pounds so yeah there we are bought it it's actually dollars whatever and then you can sell it on the sell sign, which you just laid out like that, and then one sec, guys. Um, sorry about that again. So many interruptions. Uh, this is a balance sign, which basically means you can look at your balance. So all you need to do is right click it, and it will show you your balance. I've got nothing at the moment. I know I'm very poor. I'm a poor cat. Anyway, um, <laughs> so yeah, um, it's just laid out like that, and yeah, it's really cool. So that's everything for here. Um, so this is video is actually taking quite well, but now I'm going to hop into the config. So yeah, I will see you guys in one sec in the config. All right, guys. So I'm in the config right now. Um, so this is all it is is in the essentials folder, as you can see in my plugins folder. So you just go to essentials, and yeah, it's in here. So basically, uh, what you're going to do in here, you have a shared ton of files. All you're going to look at, and this is the main file, I never really use any of the others. I do, but not much. Um, you've got to have a look for the config YML, which is this. Now this is all about it, there's tons of stuff in here. And um, yeah, basically we're going to work through this. So, um, the first thing we're going to do, is we're basically going to have a look for where you can enable signs. So you can see here, they now Yours will be different. No, not that, sorry. Uh, I'm looking for the signs actually, it's they're quite hard to find. One sec guys, let's just <laughs> try and find them. Oh uh, god. Where are the signs? Where are the signs? Signs per second. Okay guys, uh, I'm just going to pause the video until I find them. So yeah, I'm probably just going to edit this bit out actually. Alright guys, so I am back, um, I uh, just edited a bit out there because it took me ages to find these signs but eventually I'm here, uh, so basically what I'm going to say is this will look completely different to you, to you guys it should look like, not that, <laughs> that, not, not, not that, that, because there's a hashtag before it, so what you're going to do is every sign that you want to enable, you're just going to remove the hashtag, now I've enabled all of them because why not? Now make sure they're enabled or they will not work. 
right? This is essential, they will not work. So that's the first thing. Um, and also every single one has a, sorry about that. Every single one has a permission. So um, yeah, that's all you need to do. You basically need to enable these. And um, yeah, that's, that's all it really is in the config um, about that. Now um, on the server, oh, let's just make Minecraft big again. So on the server, uh, basically these are all the permissions. Um, so all the permissions start like this. Um, so you do pex user the group. So you do this. Um, one second. Uh, okay. Oh, oh, oh. All right. So you do uh, pex so pex user, and then the group name. So group. And then um, you say group, 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 set, essentials, dot, sign, dot, use, dot, the sign. So it could be buy, it could be sell, it could be any of them. So that's basically it. If you're using group man uh, manager, it would basically just be the permission, however you use group manager. I don't use group manager, I love permission DX and permission CX only. So that's the reason I have done that. But anyway guys, uh, I'm just going to say sorry for this long video, sorry for all the distractions in the video. Um, if you have stuck with my video to this point, thank you guys. I hope this helped you guys. Um, and yeah, if you want me to do any more tutorials on anything, just leave me a comment below. All you guys can basically um, you know, um, I'm going to carry on this series, uh, basically of the essentials, so we've got all the essentials covered, um, I'll leave my IP to my server in the description, I'm going to leave everything, it's going to be amazing, but anyway guys, thank you guys for watching, please like, subscribe, or leave a comment, this has been Hacker, and hopefully, I'll see you guys later.